guys, it's Becca with Adventure Dog Days, and today is another Lashes and Lashes video. I think this is video four or five, I think, something like that. I probably should have checked. But anyway, before we get on with the video, I wanna give you a little tour of my new setup. Um, I'm super excited with it. I love it so much. Shout out to my girlfriend, basically sponsored by my girlfriend. But yeah, let's, let's look at my new setup. So look at this new vanity. Oh my gosh, there is so much room. And then the girls have their own little bed. They have their own little cute shelf with with us here. And then that, and of course this. Also, yes, look, it's snowing outside and that's what they're staring at is the cat. <laughs> you know, priorities. Um, my small business area, this is where I make everything with my two crickets. And then I have this little desk right here. And I love it. I love it so much. And then this is my inventory closet. Um, it's kind of dark in here. But yeah, so my idea is to have this ladder. I'm going to put like leashes on it because, you know, lashes and leashes. So this will be in the background. I also got, where is it? Um, I don't know. But like lights to put to hang down. So I think in the future, whenever I film, I'm going to move this like here. And so I have this background. And then when I'm not filming, it will go back here. I don't know. We still have some playing around to do, but let's get on with the video. Let's get on with the video. I uh, am going to go over um, taking your dog to the emergency room because that is what I did. I had to go to the ER and I brought Wave and my service dog with me. And I posted some videos and pictures about it, kind of expecting for it to do well, not expecting for it to go viral. And so here we are. I have questions I'm going to answer and then give you tips on how to prepare your dog for the ER and I need to do something with my hands. So I'm gonna start putting my makeup on while we get into it. Okay, first things first, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna look so funny, okay? I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna look a little silly with these in my hair, but I need my hair out of my way. Okay, okay. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. So let's just, let's dive in. Uh, as usual, I'm looking down because this is where my mirror is. I still need to figure out how to be Bailey Sarian and able to look at the camera while doing my makeup. I also need to figure out how to be her in the way of not just rambling like crazy and actually being able to talk. 2022, maybe I'll learn. Maybe I'll learn. I need to do this more and I'll learn. I think this is what, episode four or five? Five? I think it's five. Maybe it's four. Who knows? Who cares? See? Rambling. Let us get in with the video. So the first question I have is what kind of paperwork do you have to bring and show that she is a service dog? And in the United States under the ADA, which is American Americans with Disability Act, you don't have to show any paperwork to anyone except for your landlord that you have a service dog and that the paperwork that you would show is it actually just a doctor's note from your doctor. Um, a chiropractor can give it to you. Uh, your primary care doctor can give it to you. A psychiatrist can give it to you. Um, I think your therapist can. I think that's it um, off the top of my head that I know about. I have another video, another Lashes and Lashes actually in depth with more service dog laws um, that I will link right up here. I think this is where it's at, hopefully. And that will answer some more legal questions. But yes, um, I do not have to show anyone anything that states she is a service dog. While I do have a doctor's note and I also have a training note that she has gone through the training for emergency situations, if someone's giving me like a really hard time, I will whip that out um, if I just feel like it will make the person shut up. Um, however, that is not necessary. You don't need that. The next question kind of goes hand in hand. It says, did anyone ask for paperwork stating that she's a service dog? And no, no one asked me that. Um, luckily where I live, people are pretty actually educated on service dogs. So I don't really have that many problems with um, access issues. I also look like a total bitch in public. And so people just never really like, I never really experience what a lot of handlers experience and with the public. Um, People don't come up and just start petting my dogs without asking. Uh, people don't, I really I really don't have the co most common problems that other handlers have and I really give it to my face. Like I'm, I'm very just, I go, I do what I need to do. 
and I move on with my life and I have no problem telling people no and I have no problem telling people to back away. So I think that it's just something, I know not everyone is like capable of, who knows, um, any past trauma they might have or what, what, whatever it may be. Not everyone is, not everyone is good at telling people no, sadly, that is true. And so, um, kind of where I'm going with this is just 2022, work on it. Work on being able to stand your ground. Work on being able to advocate for yourself and your dog and tell people no. Anyways, on with the next question. Actually, before I go into the next question, I need to figure out what I'm doing with my face. I think I'm not gonna do like major eye makeup. I think I'm gonna focus on my face because we're kinda we're kinda ugly right now. So I need to just I like to fix that up. I need to film some TikToks today for my small business page, which you should go follow Adventure Dog March on Instagram and TikTok. I make products for dog lovers. Here's a little something that I do. All right, the next question is, how did Weibu do with all the doctors over me and coming in and out? And she did fantastic. Like, seriously, she did so good. Um, doctors were hooking up machines to me as they do, you know, when you're at the ER. Um... And they were like looking in my ears, eyes, nose, mouth, you know, not nose, but <laughs> I just got a little carried away there. But, you know, just doing like what doctors do when you go to the ER. And she was absolutely incredible. She showed no signs of being nervous. She showed no signs of being overexcited or um, uh, any. She showed no, <laughs> really no signs of anything other than she wanted to go back to bed, which I think is kind of funny. And um, which was super great the doctors are making i, I hate when doctors or just anyone does this I, I i guess i get it but at the same time i don't they're like is she gonna bite me if i um if i hook this up to you and i'm like no if she, she's not gonna bite you if she were to bite you I, or if i would have thought that she would would bite you i wouldn't freaking bring her in here but i don't know i just i don't understand why people just say some of the things that they say um but no she did great I will say she was more, she was more interested in um, people walking by than I would like her to be. Uh, it did take her a second to head down, which is, I'll show a picture of her just laying her head down. Um, in this video, I'll show, you can see like she's kind of looking around, just, she's being a little overly nosy, um, which her first time being in such a busy situation like that, I can't blame her too much. It's just... I would have appreciated her not being so nosy. Someone asked me what were her tasks and in this situation she didn't really perform any major tasks because I was under the care of professionals and so they were monitoring my heart rate, they could see everything. Um, Wave's main task was to just deep pressure therapy lay on my lap for anxiety because I do uh, hate being in situations like that especially since, I don't know, it was. It was kind of intimidating when she she was great she really she provided a lot of comfort to me and so that was her main task was to just exist and deep pressure therapy over my legs to kind of ground me um she does have more tasks than just that she i guess i could do a whole video actually kind of going over her task work and future tasks that i'm still working on training her but in this situation, yeah, it was mostly just pressure therapy that I needed from her and some light mobility getting in and out of the um, ER. But other than that, since the doctors were there, they were able to monitor everything else that Wave would pay attention to. The next question is, how did she do overall? I think I are probably like already answered that. Overall, I'm super happy with her. She did great. There are some like little things I need to tweak and it's just her not being so nosy. Um, but other than that, super happy with how she did now that i'm kind of done answering the major questions that i had which if you have more questions following this video feel free to comment them down below and i will answer um i'll answer the questions that you have but now i'm going to get into how to prepare your dog for an er visit or just a doctor's visit um mainly anything that a high stress environment is this, these tips kind of go with all of those things. Going in with the first tip is solid duration training. Your dog needs to uh, have solid duration. I'll kind of put, actually, I'll film a little video for you. I'll put it over here. Let me scoot over 
<laughs> just kidding. I'll put it over here. And um, basically what I'll do in this video is I will have Weibu in a down and I will um, have a leash on her so I can apply leash pressure if she decides to get up. And I will just kind of do a couple steps walking around her. And every now and then while she stays down, I'll walk in, place food on the ground, tell her good. Um, so the way that my commands work is good equals keep doing what you're doing. Yes equals the command is done. Come to me and get your treat. So good, I will give them the treat. They need to keep doing what they're doing. Yes means the command's done. You come to me and grab your treat. And so I will just have her in a down. I will be walking around kind of doing things to bomb proof her. So maybe make funny noises, maybe do some jumping jacks, um, anything that would kind of encourage her to get up. I will do so if she does again I can bomb proof it and make sure she does not get up um, you can start doing that in home in a low distracting area and then work your way out in public work your way in the front yard wherever it may be um, but you're definitely gonna want to work your way you work your way out in public at some point so with that's way more distractions and uncontrolled environment because an ER is an uncontrolled environment your house is a controlled environment. You know what to expect and uh, you're more comfortable there and so is your dog. So you definitely wanna do this out in public where you don't have control of most situations. The next thing is noise desensitizing. Um, that is very, very crucial because as you saw in the video earlier, there is a ton of beeping happening like every all the time because of the machine that I'm hooked up to and that usually if you go to the ER, everyone gets hooked up to. So you're, there's like YouTube videos, no joke. Like when we have litters of puppies and we do um, desensitizing to no noises, we'll just go on YouTube and like type in like babies crying, fireworks, car beeping, car noises, trains, like the most obnoxious things you can think of, just honestly play on repeat. So who maybe you're making dinner or something or you, you don't have to have your dog with you, put your dog in a crate and bring an iPad, a phone, computer, whatever it may be and start playing just obnoxious stupid sounds while they're in the crate because they just need to deal with it all right the next one i have actually i would say this one's up there on the important list and this is one that weibu kind of struggled with it's not socializing so example is if you go in public and your dog wants to sniff around a little bit no sniffing in public because what are they going to do when the doctor is reaching over them so they can hook something up to you they're going to want to sniff their arm they're going to want to sniff their their hands whatever it may be the equipment and there is no sniffing allowed in the er because first of all you don't know what the doctor is giving you let's say the doctor's handing you some medicine and you, your dog decides to start sniffing it and then they maybe grab it that's a huge no-no and so what you need to be working on is um not socializing which i think is so funny because we're always like socialize your dog you want a stable dog in public so that you know a, a service dog needs to be social but your service dog cannot be over social, which totally is a thing that I think people forget about. And so that is something that Wave and I need to work on is not socializing. Because <clears throat> as I mentioned and you saw in the video, she's looking around. She's like, what are these people doing to my mom? And so, yes, that that is the main thing is know know the appropriate time to be social and the appropriate time to sniff and then know the appropriate time that your dog cannot be showing any interest in anyone else except for you the next thing that i think is very important to practice is stability with people touching the handler so your dog cannot be resource guarding you your dog cannot be overprotective of you your dog needs to be okay and comfortable with strangers touching you and i hmm like Waven is just like a really confident dog and I'm a pretty confident handler. And so I don't, I think she had no problem with people touching me. It's just cause like, I was like, yo, like just lay down and whatever it was happening. It's, it's, it's happening. You have like, there's nothing she can do about it. And she's not insecure in mean. She's not insecure in herself. And so I guess like the way that you, you can teach this is just have people touch you around your dogs. I, I mean, like, Maybe ask family, friends, like have your dog lay in your lap and have them like just mess with you, like shake your hand, rub your shoulder, get a shoulder massage. And just your dog has to exist while these people are touching you because it is very important. Like I mentioned before, if your dog wants to start sniffing someone or if they get overprotective of you, and I'm not doing makeup, but I can't really talk and do eyeliner. Okay, hold on. 
We're going to try and talk and do eyeliner. But basically, like, your dog cannot be resource guarding you because that's a liability and that can ruin your service dog's career for sure. Yeah, there's no way I can talk and do this. Let me just... Now I gotta do the other eye. One second while I do my other eye. <laughs> okay, last but not least. No, so wait, that doesn't mean last. Hold on, I have two more to go. So this one and then the very important one. Um, but this one, the fifth one. <laughs> am I speaking English? The fifth thing that I think is very important for you to work on with your dog is having a solid focus command. Because again, people are walking in and out. There's a lot happening. You want your dog to be able to focus on you and not what other people are doing, which is kind of hand in hand with unsocializing your dog to people. Like Weibo needs to pay a little more attention to me and not my not the surroundings in this situation. Sorry I'm looking down. I, I'm trying to figure out how to open this. I don't know why. Um, it's not rocket science, but apparently it is. Okay, there we go. Look at, hi, it's you. <laughs> Do you like this? Ooh. Now we're on to the last tip that I stated earlier, I think is the most important one. And that is not having to give your dog constant feedback. Um, depending on why you went to the ER, you might be, you might not be able to, to speak well. You might not be able to really pay attention to your dog. Maybe you have to answer a million questions to the doctors. Maybe you're in shock. Maybe like who knows what it may be. But there's a possibility that you're not able to spend it. Like, you don't want to worry about your dog. You're at the ER. You're, like, it's all, you need to focus on you and bettering you in this situation. You shouldn't have to focus on your dog. And so it is very important that your dog kind of, this kind of goes back to the duration itself. Like, your dog needs to be secure and confident enough in itself that you don't have to be giving it constant feedback. Like, <clears throat> I don't think, like, I don't, even, I don't think I spoke to Wavy while I was there. I told her to get up on the bed. I told her her command. I said, cover. And then, like, that was it. I didn't have to talk to her. I didn't have to baby her. I didn't have to re reassure her that she was doing a good job. Like, of course, like, you can pet your dog and be like, good girl, good boy, whatever. But there might be a situation where you just can't give that feedback to your dog. And so it's very important that your dog is able to do its command is able to work undistracted without any feedback, without any payment um, while you're there. Oh my God, I'm doing my lashes. <laughs> I usually always go away, but I'm showing you how I do my lashes. Um, I, well, I guess I'm not really showing you how I do my lashes because I'm just putting mascara on. I'm not doing fake eyelashes. Um, but yeah, that kind of wraps it up for this video. Uh, I guess the main takeaway from this is you don't have to prove, you don't have to give any paperwork to anyone and your dog needs to have solid duration without any feedback. That is like the main takeaway I'd say from this. Also, I mean, I guess your dog has to be social and stable. <laughs> I guess, I guess that would be the main thing is that they won't eat anyone. Um, but I guess if they were to show signs of that, they shouldn't be a service dog. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful and, oh, look at those curls. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions in regards to anything I talked about today, please let me know in the comments and I will be more than happy to answer those for you. So yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye.